joined the rest of the team after beating the previous team leader John Allen in, in the pub many years ago and the rescue team had had a busy spell the rescues and he was telling the, the stories about the rescues and I thought oh well, well, I'd be quite interested in that and then not long after it the team were looking for new members and he asked if I would join and and I did that that, that winter and I've been in the team ever since. When I joined the team the, the team was looking for some some younger people so I went to to the school that Willie taught at and there was quite a few other teachers that were in the team at that point, Ayla Stewart and uh, Gordon Stewart and uh, Dick Webster and uh, so they decided to put a wee, a wee team together, uh, that's what they called it, just to, to bring a few younger people into the team. There was a couple of gamekeepers uh, in their 20s and uh, a couple of my friends that were, who were 15 and 16 at that point and that's, that's how I got into the team. Maybe this time... Maybe this time I'll outwit my past I throw away the numbers The keys and all the cards I think over the years, just with new systems in place and you've, you know, now, nowadays, not just the team leaders but the board have got a responsibility for, for team members and safety and health and safety and that's that's you know that that aspect of it has made sure that we had to look at training and make sure loads of things were were properly covered uh, so there's a wee bit more professionalism when i joined it like 20 years ago but it seemed like there was a lot of call outs at night and you'd get to that sort of half nine ten o'clock and you'd you'd get called out during the winter and there was a lot of big searches where we don't seem to get that as much nowadays and it's, it's been quiet the last couple of years but even even in busy seasons it doesn't seem like we're, no. we're doing too much of that sort of stuff. Maybe I can carve out a living in the cold at the outskirts of Sun City I'll extinguish been in the team a long time and deputy leader for a few years and then leader for I don't know 12 13 years or something like that behind the scenes there's, there's a lot Ian, Ian's probably picking it up now but there's a lot goes on every week there's something to do every single week there's something to do I could have had two engagements this week had I had I taken them on um, and I just thought it was time that I'd had enough of it you know admin meetings emails um, it's, it's good not to be first to get the get the phone call. It's funny there is there's a lot of workload involved in it, and it is you know I've been in the team for 25 years I think now, and uh, I, I could probably walk away just now and, and think yeah that that's good and, and get some more more of my life back, but it's it's funny it's a good good challenge, but it. There, there's a lot of workload that, that goes with it, and there's there's been a lot of people who've said congratulations to. I think rescues are easy. Yeah. Actually, sorting out a rescue is dead easy. It's everything behind the scenes that takes the time, and the team are really well thought of in the community, and the community are always asking the team if we could go and show up mm -hmm. for this or that or do a talk. I go to a school or a, you know talk to a primary school or a local group, and you know that normally came to the team leader. And well, she don't need to do it all. You still need to coordinate and make sure it all gets done. Because you know if the community support you, you need to support them. And there's, there's uh, just say every week. It's honestly well, you know I've noticed even in the few yeah, short yeah, weeks, yeah, few short weeks, you know that uh, stuff's getting going his way now. I had life for me A quiet life A quiet life for me A quiet life for someone And a quiet life for me 
but it's, it's, it's been quite a gradual process, even if, if I wasn't sort of going to be in this role, um, what people were thinking a year or two ago, there's there's still been maybe a few people to choose from and I'd, I'd sort of come come up through the team a little bit and Willie started putting some more stuff over at me and, and coordinating some of the rescues and just some of the background stuff. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, I had a good idea of, of what it was going to entail before, but it is an, an eye opener. It's just all the, the little small things that police might call you about. There was a tent up on Bray Reef, so none of the other team members will, will see any of that and, and they won't get called out, but it takes half an hour just to chat things through with the police or you'll, you'll go and discuss stuff with them. And, and I've been lucky that so far it's, it's all been during the day and stuff like that. Ian said, a, he said a very active senior role in the rescue team for years anyway, and he was a natural choice. And uh, as I say, well, I'm 64 now, so it's time for a change, and uh, and it's it's going to work out really well. I, I don't have any any doubts. I always thought, I mean, you know, uh, older team members we would like to lead the team in better nick than we found it, and I think we in there it'll be no 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 worries at all. It'll be the strength, the strength. I lost my rent. I started once in you. In moss and grey, in drizzling rain, in sordid slush and bitter hail. But the order is always merciless. It wants to see me fail. So the hunter is now the hunted. Past voices. Call my name I renounce my past To live again A quiet life A quiet life A quiet life For me A quiet life for someone and a quiet life.